they said they can skate with anybody. They're, you know, the Flying Finns is kind of a world hockey trademark for them. And so our final match of the pool phase gets underway then with Canada in the predominantly red taking on Finland in the white today. Both teams qualified for tomorrow's semi for the Finns. No real pass available there, so Canada will bring this away now with Di Audio, who's got a terrific one-time shot on him. Will he get a shot away here? Gets in close, still on it. And is it in? And yes, it, it is. is. The back He's done it again. Alessandro Di Orio breaks the deadlock for Canada. What a single effort, individual effort for Di Orio. And Lamy stopped the first one. It came along the crease to Lamy's right. And, he, and Di Orio just stayed with it. Backhanded it in for the goal. Watch the moves here. One. Two. There's the first shot. And now the backhand. Uh, just great individual effort from Diorio. It is, and here he goes. He's in, and he passes, centers it in, it won't go. Suvanto had the goal at his mercy as Newton and fed him, and now it's going to come straight back the other way. And oh, what it's a another finish. one for Diorio. What a finish from Alessandro Di Diorio. Oh, on the counter-attack, just as Finland had a glorious chance. He comes straight back the other way, and instead of being one all, it's 2-0 Canada. And you can't give Newton enough credit for how well he played that, and he put it... Put it right on Savanto's stick, but then coming back out one on one, and Diorio again goes to the backhand and beats Lappi to the long side. <laughs> Three man defense so far, very much in control, and they've got a chance of poking this out. Oh, don't tell me, we've got a oh, no. five on three breakaway. Ryan Lynn, one on one. Oh, stunning. Double short handed stunning. goal for Ryan Lynn. Amazing work there. Poked it away in his own end, beat them to the puck, and comes down and finishes at the other side. That's brilliant. That is a dagger through the heart. You got a two man advantage. You cough it up. Ryan Lynn with a perfect finish. I mean, this makes it look like a penalty shootout. <laughs> it's chance to get back in the game, and then you let it go away. They've not got a shot on goal in this five on three. There comes the first and shot, it's and it's goal. in, and it's in. Right in the dying few seconds, Samu Alalauri says, hey, we're not out of this yet. And he took he took the one-timer and got, got Esler on the long, on the long side. Take, you can take a good look here. Not even screened. It just took him by surprise. It came so quickly. Good good hard oh, shot they're attacking at speed he just takes the one timer how yeah. many times do we see them set it Esler just to uh, decide to uh, press the release button less than two to play and still it's Canada on the charge here and away we go again right. into the empty net it goes <laughs> right as they pull the goalie they turn it over and Alessandro Di Orio completes his hat trick just like that yeah and that was the easy one <laughs> Just one man to beat. He doesn't even have to beat him fully. Just extends his arms and gets a shot away just inside the post. Yeah, coaches always get criticized, by. I don't think there's any root grounds for... You can argue that being the two best teams uh, in the tournament meeting in the, in the semi, but it also reinforces that point I was making about the pulling your goalie in the show. They'll be playing Czechia. Finland will be playing Czechia. And would you rather play Czechia or the U.S.? They may know Czechia a little bit better. But there's not really a, a lot of difference in that, you know. Um, so 